Hi lovelies, so today it's a beauty video and we're getting into this natural glam makeup. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, keep on watching. When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet. Got no makeup, how do you look so fine? Bust up, bust up, how did I make you mine? I like to start off with a moisturizing sunscreen. The one that I'm using today is the Josie Moran. Honestly, it's not my favorite. It does leave a bit of a white cast, but that's okay because we're going to put makeup on top. On to primer. The one that I'm using today is the Stila Aqua Glow. Now I like to color correct with this NYX orange concealer just to cover up any discoloration or acne scars. I've been using this product for years and it's really my favorite one. Onto foundation, I'm just going to spray my foundation brush with a little setting spray and then I'm mixing three foundations to get my perfect shade, the NARS Sheer Glow in Macau, a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Matte Foundation in 410 and then a touch of the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation in 390. Now I like to mix these three because it gives me a pretty close match to my neck and my chest. And it's the summertime, we're wearing strappy clothes all the time. You want your face to match your body as closely as possible. Don't forget to join the fam and click that subscribe button. Comment down below if you're enjoying beauty videos and you want me to do more like these. Now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 385. I really love this concealer, I feel like it just melts into your skin. So we're going to get just the brightness that we want but still keep the look soft and natural. Now I'm just going to use the Kat Von D translucent powder. I really like this powder but I am going more for that dewy look so I'm just going to dust it on lightly into my t-zone and leave it there let it set while I do my brows. For my brows I'm going to use this LA Girl Brow Pomade. It is definitely a drugstore dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade but when I found this it was $9 so I decided to give it a try and I loved it. Now I'm no makeup expert but I'm just going to try to get my brows as symmetrical as possible in terms of the arch and how close they are to my nose. But we know how it is, brows are sisters, they're not twins.
Now I'm going back in with a Fenty concealer just to clean up under my brows. Comment down below if you're a brows first or brows after foundation type of person. I'm curious. Now I'm just going to use, this is just an ordinary blending brush that I have, just to blend out the concealer. Blending is really key to getting that full natural look. You want everything that you do to be blended out as seamlessly as possible. I'm just going to set my brows with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. I love this brow gel. I've been using this product for years and trust me, it sets your brows in place and your brows are going to be perfect all day. Now I like to layer my blushes, so I'm first going to go in with this MAC Peachy Keen. It's a very pinky blush, I'm just going to add it as the base layer of my color. I'm using a Sephora brush to do that. And then I'm going to go in with my all time favorite, the MAC Lovejoy. I absolutely love this blush and I would highly recommend it to anyone. I'm not using bronzer today, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little blush to my forehead just for some depth and dimension, but definitely you could use bronzer for this look as it will warm up your face nicely. Onto the lids, like I said before, I am no professional, so I'm just adding the browns from this Lancome palette to add a little bit more dimension to my eyelids. So I'm going in with the darker brown color on my outer lids and in my crease. I'm going to take this lighter brown shade and I'm going to put that all over my lids. That's going to be my lid color. Now I'm going to go in with this matte shade to my inner corners. Also using this brush, it really blends out the colors very well. So it keeps that very soft, natural look. Onto the lashes, I'm first going to prime my eyelashes with this Lancome eyelash primer. It was that product that I never knew I needed until I started using it and now I love it. Now before that primer fully dries down, I go in with the Lancome mascara. I have a very particular way that I do my mascara. I like to pull my lashes out first to really get them at the root and then I go in and add mascara to the ends. It's just how I've been always doing my mascara and I really like it. It to me it avoids the clumpiness and I get my lashes looking just how I like them. Now I'm using a little bit of highlighter. I like to use a cream highlighter as it just gives me that really dewy look. Now I'm just lining my lips with the NYX lip liner in the shade Coco. That's just to prep for my nude lipstick. This is the Chanel lipstick. I really like this nude. Then I'm just going to top it off with a little nude gloss. And here we have the finished look, ladies and gentlemen. This is our natural glam, no makeup, makeup look. Click that subscribe button, click like, comment down below what other type of beauty videos you're interested in seeing. Thanks for joining me today and see you next time.